KTLA's John Finolio here in studio with a preview of the event, John. Well, that's right. Students from here in LA, across the country and around the globe will participate in what could be one of the largest marches in history. They're all demanding action as they push for common sense gun reform. We can't keep on living like this. Their messages are summed up on hand painted signs. Enough. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Enough carnage, fear, and heartache. I think um, Washington's ready for us, and I think we're ready to give them hell. Students from across the country are converging on the nation's capital for the March for Our Lives to fight for stricter gun control laws. The adults have had their chance. They've had so many chances um, to make the change that we need, and they're not doing it. Survivors of last month's deadly school shooting in Parkland, Florida, organized the march, hoping their activism would inspire others to join them. To us, this is not a partisan issue. It's an issue of life or death. Because really, in the end of it, everyone has their own idea of how this needs to change, but I think we all agree that this needs to change. Organizers say their peers are listening. Across the U.S. and around the world, more than 800 similar events are planned. This group is from the Santa Barbara area. It's harder to have your voice be heard coming from a smaller place. So I think coming to D.C., it's really powerful, even if you're just one person among thousands or hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of students united in pushing for a ban on assault-style rifles, restrictions on ammunition sales, and stricter background checks. As they prepare to march, the NRA is already pushing back. You want to save innocent lives? Take the millions of dollars going to this carnival of a march and hire armed guards in schools all over this country. But then these kids would have to shrink from the spotlight and go back to their homework. But these students say they won't be deterred. I think it's great to see the unity from all over the country and all over the world just for our school. And I never imagined this would happen. And they hope. The adults are also listening. To you, the politicians in Washington, for not hearing our cries for justice, enough is enough. There is also a march here in L.A. tomorrow at 9 a.m. Demonstrators will march from Pershing Square to City Hall. We will also be there to bring you highlights. Back to you. John, thank you.